Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another West Coast video for you guys today. Uh, I've been putting out a lot of stuff, a lot of breakdowns, uh, some gameplay I just put out yesterday or the last day uh, on Thursday. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the gameplay if you guys want to check that out. But in that video, I really didn't go over uh, in detail too much the actual plays I was using. So uh, for the weekend, what I want to do is I want to put together uh, some of the scheme videos that I've been putting out, put them all in the one big video so you guys can, uh, can catch them all in one place. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to give you guys a full scheme. This is a, a accumulation of a couple different videos that I did. If you want to see uh, more tomorrow out of the exact same playbook, uh, out of the West Coast playbook, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I will put out part two tomorrow, which will be a completely different formation, but it'll be a full scheme. Run plays, pass plays. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit longer than today's video because, uh, like I said, I've been doing a lot of work in the West Coast. It's one of my new favorite books. So, like I said, let me know in the comment section if you want to see that. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's go right into the video. But the formation that I'm going to focus on today is the strong close now this is a formation if you've been playing madden for a while maybe going back to madden 16 you should be familiar with because it's one of the most patched formations in madden history uh, including some of the plays that i myself put out including the first play that i ever put out on this channel the halfback off tackle i'll try to find a link for that horribly recorded video uh, that I made the very first play. If I didn't delete it, I probably deleted it. But either way, the halfback off tackle, that was patched. Uh, the PA end around was a play that I put out that was patched. Uh, also, the quick toss and the wide receiver out. All these plays have been patched uh, because they were all complete cheat codes. But there's still a lot of really good plays in this formation, especially in the West Coast book. So the first play that I'm going to pick is the Y trail. That's a really glitchy play that needs zero adjustments to be effective. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick that. I'm going to put all these plays in my audibles, which I've already put in. I'm going to show you a cover two beater, a cover three beater, and a cover four beater, all of which are one play touchdowns, uh, including the FL drive at the bottom there, um, the uh, where are we at here, the deep cross, and the PA scissors. All of these plays can be home runs against covers two, three, and four, and I'm going to show that in this video. So let's start off with the cover two play. So starting off with the wide trail, like I said, this play right here, it needs zero adjustments. I'm going to make adjustments. I'm going to show adjustments that really make this play better. But if you're not very good at adjustments, all you need to do is run this play against a cover two. And the route that Sanders is running, you just kind of have to wait till it gets about 20 yards out. And it's just a completely broken route. You can see how it gets outside of the cover two incredibly easily. The Niners are a good team, but they don't necessarily have a great receiving course. Sanders is okay, but he shouldn't be breaking defenses like that. Like I said, you just kind of wait till he gets past that cornerback pass lead outside and bullet and it's just completely broken so this is a really good route I've shown this route off in a couple of my plays already and I don't think there's really too much that I should have to show if you want to make the play a little bit more of a wider window you can motion over Kittle and put him on a streak uh, this is not necessary though and if you do this uh, your opponent has a better chance of following that over but you can see how it makes the throwing window that much bigger completely unnecessary though I mean like I said a good pass lead and a good bullet pass is really all you're gonna need to get this play done and since this play is coverage specific I would say that you can block your running back, you can block your, your tight end, or as many as you really want because you're really just aiming for the X route. But you could also make a couple adjustments to make this play even harder to cover. If you motion over Kittle, put him on a streak like I just did, and then put Sanders on a drag, now you really have three levels of passing that are all going to beat cover two. As you can see right here, I mean, the cornerback completely bails for that drag route, which makes it just an easier throw over the top. That's really all it is. So if you really wanted to maximize this against a cover two, that would be the setup. Motioning Kittle over, putting the uh, the B route on a drag, blocking all of your running backs, and you're going to have um, the most, you know, the, the easiest version of it. You can see right there, the cornerback bails once again. Uh, but like I said, it's unnecessary. So I would prefer not to tip my hand, just run the play as is, maybe, you know, put Kittle on a streak, uh, and then do the drag at the very least. But don't show your hand. The next three plays in my audibles can all pretty much be used as a cover three touchdown because you really just have to make adjustments around uh, the, the corner route there or the post route. Um, ultimately, you're just going to, you can pick any one of these. The best one in my opinion is probably the PA scissors or even the PA deep cross. They're probably the two best. Um, so I'll pick the PA scissors and uh, the adjustments I make are pretty simple. All I have to do is put the A route on a streak. Uh, motion out Sanders here and then put him on a comeback route. That's pretty much it. I can block my running backs in the backfield. Um, I don't really need them to do too much. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to do. Now, the hardest part about this play 
is waiting for that receiver to cross the field. Um, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, I like cover three plays that beat up the seam, but you can see how you can beat just about any defense with this formation. That's really the idea. I mean, like I said, my favorite play is without a doubt the wide trail. That's a, that's a cheat code. But if you if you come to the line of scrimmage and your opponent's in something other than a cover two that you might have been expecting, you have the ability uh, to hit home runs against pretty much any defense uh, that you're going to see as I already messed up the uh, adjustments. Now, as far as, you know, if it's a cover one man, this is gonna, this is going to work the same way. Um, I didn't really mention that, but ultimately any cover three or cover one man, uh, cover zero, all that, it's going to work the same way this crossing route is going to going to have success as i as i right here i find uh <laughs> i find space i kind of want to roll towards the throw but it doesn't really matter so you can see right there cover three one play touchdown now as far as the cover four plays go i mean the pa scissors and the pa deep cross you can make that uh, make the play i'm about to show you how to use one of those once again i like the pa deep cross the only thing is when it comes to cover four you have to kind of be to the shallow side of the field so make sure you know where you are on the field so like I was saying, the B route has to be coming across to the short side of the field for this to be successful. All I'm really going to do, motion out Sanders here, put him on a smoke screen, and then block everybody once again. And that's pretty much it. The hardest part is going to be getting time for this B route to cross the field. But you can see, once he gets to a certain point, he's really gone, and he breaks right through where the, the one deep safety and the one cornerback are kind of split. You can't put uh, the X route on a smoke route where he is. You have to motion them out to get that option. That's the only reason you have to make that motion. Luckily, like I said, the previous plays, um, you know, had the same motion, so it doesn't really give it away necessarily. And then, like I said, just buying time. A lot of times I'll roll out. You can see the separation it gets, and we're hitting home runs. So in this formation, you can home run cover two, cover three, and cover four pretty easily. Now, the quick toss a couple years back was an overpowered play. It's not very good anymore, in my opinion, unless you have pin and pull guru uh, then it's a good play once again. Toss plays without pin and pull guru don't really work out too good. But if you have it, it's still a pretty good play. So I'm going to set my audibles. I'm going to go to my put quick toss there. The halfback uh, zone is not necessarily my uh, my second favorite play. My second favorite play would definitely be the halfback off tackle. And then the last play that I think is, is an overpowered play is the counter weak. So those are the three main plays. If I wanted to add a third one, I would say that's not really, it's not technically a run play, but it's the PA end around. I would take that as my third play. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. So those are the four plays I'm going to have today. So like I said, if you have pin and pull guru, this is still a pretty good play. If you don't, I mean, it can still have success, as you can see right here. Uh, I'm actually, it looks like I'm probably going to hit a home run on the first play if I get this guy off me. It still has success. I feel like they might have toned down some of the X factors, uh, some of the requirements for these plays to work. Uh, but earlier in the year, you could really tell that that these toss plays just didn't work unless you had pin and pull guru. That, that's kind of how it felt. But at the moment, I'm having some success. In game, I don't think you're going to have as much success uh, as I've had with some of these other plays. Uh, but it's still, like I said, still a good play. It's just, it's, it's much better if you have pin and pull guru. That's basically the easiest way that I can say that. But to me, the easier plays to run, the halfback off tackle is probably my favorite play on this, aside from the counter weak. Now, in a play like this, the way that they're stacking the box on the strong side, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to skip over that, and I would definitely go to the halfback counter. The halfback counter is something that, if you see a gap on the left side in any capacity, it's going to be better to go that way. The the, this, the half tackle, like I said, the half tackle is a lot like a stretch. In a play like this, I could probably stretch it outside and get, get outside those blockers, but the counter weak is just going to be that much easier. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick that. Like I said, there's an easy read for counter plays. I'm going to go to the replay to show that. As you can see, we're home running to the other side now. As I have Jadavion Clowney chasing me. That's two home runs on four carries. Like I said, this is a very good formation still. So I just want to go to the replay real quick to show, um, you know, there's one real read you have to make to make this play successful. It's really simple. You just have to watch one player, and that's typically this edge defender. Unless somebody comes in free, somebody misses the block and blows the play up, you're really just watching this one guy. And he's going to do one of two things. There really only seems to be two animations that EA has for this particular player, and that's either read and react or attack. Now here he's in what looks like a read and react, where he's basically just going to stop and wait to get blocked. And when they do that, all you have to do is take it outside. You can see it's exactly what I do. The second I see the ball hike, I'm just staring at this guy. And the second I see him stop right there, I know exactly where the play is going to go. And that's going to be outside and wide. Now, if he crashes down, you can't go outside. If he's aggressive and he comes forward, you can't go outside or else he's going to shed, he's going to tackle you. If he comes forward, you basically just have to wait for this blocker to kick him out and then go inside. I'll get a look like that and then I'll show you that again. Like I said, it's a real simple read. It's it's only it's the only read you need to make immediately. Right here, once again, he stops. 
I just take it outside. The second he gets enveloped by that blocker, I just take it outside. It's an easy run. I want to get the look where he comes forward, though. Go ahead, we'll do this one more time. Hopefully, I get that aggressive look. There it is. You can see right there. That was the aggressive look. I just have to go inside, make a little bit of a juke, and it looks like we're hitting another home run. So, like I said, I mean, this is a very explosive power power run formation. Like I said, a lot of people make this mistake when they run these counter plays where they think they have to go outside all the time. If I go outside right there, what do you think is going to happen? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I run counters all the time. This is going to be a tackle for a five-yard loss. If I try to bust this outside, that's why you have to watch this guy. The second he comes down, he's just setting himself up to get wiped out on what's essentially like a trap block. This pulling block takes him out. And then, like I said, you have a hole here. You're always going to have a hole here unless one of these defenders just gets unblocked and gets an instant shed. you got some you know, Aaron Donald inside or something like that. That can blow this play up. But making this read correctly, you're going to see you always have a hole if you follow that one read. So like I was saying, the quick toss... Good play, just not as consistent as it used to be. Um, the halfback off tackle, in my opinion, is a little bit more consistent because this play, it looks like a stretch play. It's essentially a stretch play uh, with a fullback blocking, a lead, a lead blocker, which you don't typically have. And then the counter weak, like I said, this, this is a scenario where I definitely would try to hit another counter weak, but I think I made my point there. So we're going to go, we're going to go the other way with the halfback off tackle. Like I said, essentially just run it like a stretch. Just basically take your blockers and get wide. Um, there's less opportunity for the guys to break through because there's no pulling blockers like the quick toss. They're, they're really they're screaming at me with that gap though. They're really screaming at me to hit these counters. And like I said, these this counter play is just so good. I probably should try to shake them a little bit earlier. I would add another touchdown. But if you see a gap like that, like they're giving me, that's definitely where you want to go. Uh, halfback off tackle, like I said, this here. Anytime you see you see a tight formation like this, like they really have outside leverage. There's no real gaps except for maybe one right up the middle. This is a perfect play to run this stretch play. So like I said, they all just get bunched up there. And we're getting outside. Like I said, this is this would be the equivalent of like a dive. You're not expecting home runs here. Your home run big plays are definitely going to be the toss and the counter weak. But the halfback off top was really consistent. And then the last play would be the PA end around. Like I said, not really a run play, but this is something that where you can basically just hit this full this uh, running back here. The animation is so slow now compared to what it used to be. That's like the way that EA really tried to mess this play up. Like I said, a lot of this, a lot of these plays have really been patched um, to being ineffective. But this play here, if I want to just quick out to the running back, you used to be able to cancel the play axis, but you can't now. So it's like, it's just such a slow animation, which makes this play a lot less consistent than it once was. Uh, but I still, I still like the play. It's still something that, you know, if I just want a quick and easy, like I said, if you're getting blitzed heavy, you can't run this. But if you want a quick and easy uh, catch and run to the running back, it's a good play to mix in based off the fact that you're running so heavy out of this formation already anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see more alternate playbooks, let me know in the comment section uh, or keep hitting the like button and I'll keep doing them. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.